Hey there, thanks for joining us as we continue our Summer Under the Stars Film Festival on TCM. Today we're saluting Gladys George, a popular actress during the 1930s and 40s, remembered today mostly for her supporting roles. And up next, we've got one of Gladys George's best-known supporting parts, where she found herself starring opposite two actors who went on to become genuine Hollywood icons, movie tough guys James Cagney and Humphrey Bogart. From 1939, it's the Roaring Twenties. The story begins at the end of World War I. Three soldiers meet, and they ponder their future. Two of the men, Cagney and Bogart, become successful bootleggers. The third man, played by Jeffrey Lynn, becomes a crusading district attorney who may have to bring his old pals to trial. Our star of the day, Gladys George, plays the streetwise hostess at a popular speakeasy. She falls for Cagney, but he has his eyes on a different woman, played by Priscilla Lane. This was and is still considered a great performance for Gladys George, who was pushing 40 at the time, an age where great roles for women were tough to come by. It's getting better, but there still aren't many great parts written for women over 40. Another actress, 25-year-old Ann Sheridan, was originally slated to play the part, but director Ral Walsh and producer Hal Wallace eventually replaced Sheridan with George. George had more mileage on her face, and to Walsh and Wallace, that's exactly what the part called for. George also gets the movie's famously memorable last line from Warner Brothers in 1939, also featuring Frank McHugh. Here is our Summer Under the Stars star of the day, Gladys George, in the gangster classic, The Roaring Twenties. Thank you. 